Hey yo, welcome to the uh, to the timber checkpoint. Um, it's 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 a world, you know, it's a world, and uh, it's a little bit unfinished in its current state. But I figured I kind of wanted to show it off anyway, as uh, I'm not really sure if I'll be coming back to this world anytime soon. I mean, I might, but I have new projects I also want to work on, so it might be a while. So I figured it was worth showing off this world in its current state. So yeah, there's not a whole lot to say uh, just from the get-go about this place, but basically I was just kind of thinking like I wanted to create a forest world. So this was kind of my first attempt. Uh, I learned a fair amount of things about how Neos handles distant objects while working on this world. Uh, and I also wanted to kind of create like a relaxing area for people to chill. So thus, here I am in this bar, I guess, uh, this tavern-like place that I made. Um, yeah, that's that's basically the, the gist of it, really. Um, there are some things you can do. There's some sort of, uh, there's a little platforming challenge, or if you want to jump from flower to flower going up this massive tree here that's, uh, I mean, you can't see it from where I'm standing, but there is a massive tree in the background that you probably saw already. <laughs> But yeah, if you climb that all the way up to the top, uh, there's a cool visual thing at the top, but um, it's just it's just a cool visual. It's just a fun little platforming challenge. If you're if you're someone who wants to jump around and it's got you covered, there's a little bit of exploring you can do. Um, there's uh, also like a giant ring that kind of encapsulates the checkpoint. So that's th I thought that was a fun touch. Um, I used a whole lot of different styles of tree in this world so there's kind of like all sorts of different um sort of timber checkpoint vibes i guess um yeah there's there's that and i was also given this swedish fish um so yeah there's that There. So yeah, thanks for the Swedish fish. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I don't know. There's just like not too much to say about it. I thought it was just kind of cool, worth showing off in one of these showcases. But unfortunately, not a whole lot to say about it, um, other than maybe look out for some secrets. The G-Man is hidden somewhere in this world. I'm not gonna give it away. Uh, and also, uh, if you if you want to. If you want to chill in here and you you, you want to let me know if you like it or not, feel free um, to tell me because then I can maybe reconsider working on the world some more. That's really all I have to say. I know this one is quite a bit on the shorter side compared to previous showcase videos, but it's also just because uh, this one was very much just like, yeah, just throw it together. I mean, I guess I could talk about the water rock out front, which uh, is probably the nicest set piece uh, in this map, which I thought like just kind of had a nice welcome to this place vibe. Um, I guess I could talk about like my concept for the map real quick before I wrap it up, um, which is that you could climb, it's essentially like the idea is that you would be a visitor and you'd be climbing through this gigantic massive forest and uh, you would eventually find this semi-civilized location called the Timber Checkpoint where you could relax and take a break from traversing this massive forest scape. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much the base premise. Uh, I just thought it would make for a cool world and um, yeah, that's, that's gonna wrap it up for this one. Uh, I don't have too much more to say. I appreciate you joining me today and uh, have yourself a good one. Peace out. I forgot to mention you can climb this wall.
See, I did it. Yay.